Hello, this is Abdul Fatai Munir, aka Slim Terry. Yeah. Okay, welcome back. We are going to now continue from the last video. This is the fifth video we are creating uh, for the purpose of the upcoming free class uh, that's coming anytime soon. Now we I've made recorded the vi the, some videos on chart of account, which is the first video, the second video called how to create customer, the third video how to create vendor, the fourth video how to create item. Now this video now we are going to now uh, illustrate how to make a purchase, specifically uh, let's say cash purchase yeah cash purchase because i'm not going to i'm not going to undo credit purchase credit purchase has to do it from purchase order okay or okay let me just do <clears throat> let me just do cash purchase here then in the next video i will just pick one out of this maybe how to create a purchase order or how to receive an inventory or this bill so now this video is going to concentrate on buying with cash now i have list of items remember i told you we cannot do this transaction without having a customer in fact to start with you cannot do this transaction without having a vendor the person you are buying from you cannot also sell if you don't have a customer now whether you have a vendor or you have a customer if you don't have an item you cannot buy and sell anything so this is your vendor and your supplier so you can see the connection now if you don't have an account that you are going to reflect your transaction to this transaction is not going to be possible so that's the reason why i started with creating a, an account sort of account i also continue with creating a vendor the next uh, i mean customer then the next a vendor the next an item so now we want to now since we have these options on ground we want to now purchase so let's now purchase an item from a vendor i created earlier okay i'm going to write a check now writing check in quibble doesn't really mean you writing a check a check you understand so it can be that i told you quickbook recognize your bank whether your petty cash, whether your draw, your piggy vest, whether you have any kolo, any box that you put money in in your business that is different from the bank you take your money to, QuickBook will recognize all these things as bank. So writing check doesn't necessarily mean you are writing a check, a real check. You understand? Maybe that you want to spend from your petty cash account, and if you also need to write, write a check. But then let's click on check and see what. Uh, options it will bring out whether it will look like the bank one or not so i have clicked on write check now i want to purchase an item from the vendor i created earlier so i'm going to illustrate how those transaction or how those information i inputted on those vendor will reflect now you have petty cash you can see the only account bank account i have here According to QuickBook, I tell you, people we refer them, we refer to them as bank. You understand? But it can be anything. It can be bank. It can be petty cash. It can be money. It can be any any form of you saving your money, your business money. Okay, we have petty cash there. You can see we have fifteen thousand six hundred as the balance. Now you can see this number is showing you zero zero four. It means this is zero, this is the fourth check I'm writing. You understand? This is the fourth check I'm writing, and this is to this date. That's the date of the transaction. Now we want to buy from somebody, so we are paying in the order of somebody, which is a vendor. And I created Oshiki. If you check the uh, third video I created, it is Oshiki that I use as the vendor. So I'm going to select Oshiki, and Oshiki is up. Now you can see the address. Now this address had not inputted here. I only inputted this address while creating Oshiki. You can see automatically the address has come up. Now the class also I added this class while creating Oshiki, and you can see that the class is here now as Abuja. Now some of other other options. I will show you how it will reflect when we are creating a bill. So they will not reflect here. 
you understand but now we are doing we are creating a purchase order so i'm writing check now that check doesn't have to be check check you understand it can be any just as if you are paying if you want to incur an expense that you are paying quickbook recognize it as writing check now we want to buy this item so you click we actually created diamond so i'm clicking on diamond now i told you that the information that will come up here is the information i use for that purchase information if you remember in the last video i said the description i use for purchase information is, what I, is, is, the, is the description that will come up here now i'm going to input the quantity i need let me say i need one or let me say three okay i need three but then i don't i do not create any unit of measurement so it's not gonna now i have uh, the cost is one five remember i use one five as the cost i told you i can change that price i can use one three i can use one five depending on how it change you understand so let me say i use one six just to illustrate how it will come up every options will come up now if i use one six you see now the value the value now will change to four eight look at what i'm telling you item cost change window will come up and tell you that do you want to update the item record with the new cost the current cost is one five and the new cost now is one six i can say no once i click on no and, and press ok now it will actually go ahead with that one six but the initial record i use of one five will still remain that is why i said no but if i say yes it will update that initial record to one six and this place one six also so now we have those options here customer job bill class now you can see class is reflecting here because i enabled class in my preference here in my preference i enabled class so that is why this class is showing as an eh? abuja you can adjust this to see those windows very well mm. okay i think that is that okay uh we are buying now we know we have 15600 so now if i record this transaction for it is going out of this 15 600 you understand so now let's uh, go ahead and then uh, save this uh, transaction okay let's uh, save and close okay as you can see it's showing now 10 800 it has adjusted and we've paid you understand so that is how you okay let me just do a quick one i don't want to go to other details here but let me just show us this is the report come to okay i think i actually have favorite report down to run okay, let me click on profit and loss uh we do not actually sell anything so let me go to balance sheet uh, let's go to balance sheet and see how it affects our account now you can see the petty cash is 10 800 you understand it has deducted it has reduced now the inventory asset now if you want to see the detail you double click on this to see the detail of how come about this 10 800 i've done various transactions uh, but i'm going to check specifically on shiki you can see the last transaction here inventory asset of 48 which is correct now let's go back to uh balance sheet uh, which is the financial position okay now let's click on the inventory asset also to see if because we actually see i told you that if you purchase it's going to reflect in your inventory asset account so let's go there and check if it has added up by that figure you can see here now we have four eight also from oshiki top notch abuja blah 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 okay that is a eh, very very good and uh, it, it shows that the transaction has been recorded automatically by quick book so that should be the end of this you see you guys in the next eh, video